Hey, welcome to Punk Rock Lab's YouTube channel. I'm Elisa and I'm gonna make a fancy pizza today. Uh, just a couple announcements. Uh, if you've been watching our YouTube channel, you might be aware that we've been doing a raffle once a week. So we have a couple new products coming out in the next few months. So each week we've been raffling off a new product preview pack, which includes our new Cashew of the Woods flavor cheese and a Shishido mustard, which pairs really well with it. Um, so we've been giving one of those away each week, and this week the winner is Scott Pittman. Um, I also want to mention that there was an unclaimed prize from a couple weeks ago, so I'll post the links to those videos below, the unclaimed prize announcement. And then um, Scott Pittman's our winner this week, and um, yeah, so uh, I'm just going to get started with the video. But um, basically, if you watched the video from last week, we did um, a gluten-free vegan pizza, which I'm doing again. So I've gotten super hooked on these Sift gluten-free crusts. This is a local maker. Um, so these are gluten-free, dairy-free, and then the thing that I love about these crusts is that instead of using like egg or xanthan gum as a binder, she uses flax, which is awesome because um, it's really an unadulterated binder. It's vegan. Um, if you've been watching the videos, you know that I have autoimmune issues. so. Um, I'm super sensitive to um, certain additives like xanthan gum, so I'm in love with this pizza crust. Um, so just to make the recipe, this is really easy. I actually, my roommate Dennis, who is behind the camera right now, he uh, isn't vegan and he isn't gluten free, um, but he wants me to teach him some like easy recipes that he can make that are healthy. And so um, that's kind of what this is. This is a recipe that even Dennis can make. <laughs> so I just rubbed a little olive oil on the crust just to keep it moist and also because it's fancy. Um, I made some pesto myself. You could buy some at the store if you like, um, or you could make some, it's really easy. Um, the traditional pesto recipe is just basil, Parmesan, pine nuts, and olive oil and salt and pepper, and you just throw it in a blender. Um, I have some issues with a couple of those ingredients. So like Parmesan, for example, I don't really eat because it's dairy and that flares up my autoimmune issues. Um, so I don't put that in mind. And the other thing um, is pine nuts. I love them, but they're super expensive. They're like elitist for rich people. So um, this is actually just some basil. I threw in a handful of pumpkin seeds. I threw a handful of cashews. Um, some olive oil and some salt and pepper. So real simple, just throw it in a blender and blend. So basically we're just gonna put like a coat of pesto on the pizza. This is really easy. So that, then I made a white sauce out of Punk Rock Labs cheese. So I'll show you what we used here. Um, so basically I made a white sauce by mixing up an original formula cheese, which I have here, with a half a cup of water. And so I mixed that up in here and partly that's just because like the texture I think is nicer on the, on the pizzas, but also the other benefit is that you could stretch out one wheel of cheese over a few pizzas, like two or three pizzas. So basically I just kind of made this white sauce, I'm just going to dollop it on here. Real nice. Maybe a little bit more than this. Hey, okay, so there might have been a little break here because I think we've discovered in doing this that I probably have like way too many pet pictures on my phone and should probably delete them because we ran out of space. But <laughs> anyways, so the last part of the pizza is um, I just made this little um, caramelized onion zucchini um, fry like I put some cipollini onions olive oil salt and pepper and some little zucchinis that I chopped up and I just you know put it in this the pan and like browned them and so we're just gonna sprinkle that on top of the pizza it's gonna be really good so this is it it's like a caramelized onion zucchini pesto 
with PRL white sauce and an olive oil rub, gluten-free vegan pizza. And so we're just gonna throw this in the oven at 375 for like 10 minutes until it gets brown and smells good, and then we're gonna eat it up. So um, yeah, here's our recipe for today. Um, we've got, if, if you like this recipe video, we have some others. Um, last week I made a kimchi pizza from Robin Asbel's blog. Um, we've also been doing lots of giveaways. Um, if you didn't win our new flavor pack, it's always available on our GoFundMe site, which you can check out with a nice video about our story, the story behind Punk Rock Labs, um, which feel free to share that story because we are a little small company and we're competing with like big giant companies. And so it's just like with the support and love of people like you that we are here. So just wanted to send out the love and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.